Cocoa Processing Company is to cut down on the use of gas and electricity by 63% before the end of this year. Now the move is to enable the company use cocoa pod and shell purchased from farmers to generate power for cocoa production. More in the following report. The managing director of the company, Nane Jenin Boateng, expressed concern about wastage in the agri sector, particularly in the cocoa industry. He said the company will use cocoa pods and shells to produce energy to enable it to cut down its expenditure by 63%, representing $560,000 expense on par. Instead of 6.8 million, it's going to be 2.5 million. That is one savings. Come to the product. If even 4,089 tons of cocoa beans exported outside, even at the current price of even $3,000, even if you go to the lead, it's $12 million. This same 4,089 tons can give you 5,000 tons chocolate, 5,000 tons cocoa powder. He said the company could utilize its 900,000 metric tons production capacity to generate power. Between Ghana and Africa, Coast, we do 63% and it's $10 billion. It gets to confectionery and it's $120 billion. So if you are doing 63% of the world and you get only 10 and you get it into tertiary 120, that means that whatever that the president Nana don't say, it is a real and we should support that cause. On an awareness creation campaign, to enhance productivity, the Management, Development and Productivity Institute, MDPI, undertook a process. Director General of MDPI, Odami Techi, called for attitudinal change among public sector workers. When you are doing the right thing, it calls for even voluntary reallocation of more resources for you. So at the end of the day, we expect our civil servants to change their attitude towards work. Some have changed. I believe in that one. And that is what you see in some of the institutions that are doing well. Deputy Director General of MDPI, Benny J, and an informal sector worker, Grace Champo, called for support from government to engender productivity. In the agricultural value system, uh, we talked about health and safety and others. So uh, I think after the, the compilation of this communique, it will help a lot of uh, institutions move forward and be aware of things uh, that we can do, especially green productivity. They have appealed to them that they should come down to the market and educate the women how they will manage their money, their time and the product that they are selling. 